Aloha. My name is Brian Murphy. I am the director of Maui County Citizens for Democracy in Action. Although it seems like we operate with the bullseye painted on our backs, we are still pressing on with our efforts in crafting legislation to help Hawaii's medical community. Included in our latest round are ordinances that we will present to the Maui County Council. One of the ordinances establishes reciprocity agreement that will honor out-of-state medical marijuana licenses providing safe access to medicine for visiting patients. This ordinance is just the latest in a long line of versions we have submitted to legislators over the years. As we mentioned in our previous update, however, some recent changes in federal policy have eliminated previous threats to medical marijuana programs. A couple of reminders. President Barack Obama has agreed to allow medical marijuana states to regulate and control medical marijuana without federal interdiction. And Attorney General Eric Holder stated that the Drug Enforcement Administration will end its raids on state-approved medical marijuana dispensaries. With these stumbling blocks out of the way, we will be able to help not only our friends and neighbors here in Hawaii, but all licensed visitors who will need medicine while vacationing in the Aloha State. Educated people recognize that the medical value of cannabis has long been established. The American Medical Association, the American Cancer Society, and numerous other national medical organizations have published reports validating the medical value of marijuana. Thirteen states in the country, including our closest neighbors in California, Oregon, Washington, and Colorado, recognize the medical value of cannabis and have enacted medical marijuana laws. Let's look at it in terms of compassion. Would you deny medical care for tourists? In terms of logic, we have reciprocity agreements that honor driver's licenses from other states. Is the privilege to drive more important than safe access to medicine? Lastly, in simple terms of dollars and cents, how can a state so dependent on tourist revenue deny those visitors the most basic medical needs? Many of the states smart enough to allow medical marijuana are also smart enough to recognize the benefits of exchanging enforcement costs for tax revenue. Here in Hawaii, it will be we the people of Maui who lead the way. There are never any good reasons to deny anyone safe access to medicine. As we press on with our efforts to provide for Hawaii's medical community, let's not forget the medical needs of our rapidly diminishing tourist population. A little compassion and a lot of common sense can protect our people and help restore our economy. Mahalo.